All right, welcome back. Today, we're gonna just talk a little bit about blending. I wanna make this short, but you know how it is. All right, so last time we left, we were at just setting up the whole idle animation. So we had the idle constant character, that was the link, then the number, then we added the animation, and then we added one more thing, which was the main character. And then we said to set the layer. And what that did was it set the the certain animation that we wanted to play. Now, that was good for the first one. But for the rest of them, we're not going to need it. We're going to keep them away. Now, you'll also notice uh, one thing that I have done extra. Actually, two things. Uh, one of the things that I've done extra is in the main character, I added a set animation and I copied an idle animation twice and I call this one the procedural so what we're gonna do in blending is we're gonna always reference the rest of the animations but we're gonna keep one of them the same so every time we use it it's just gonna be the current animation that we're gonna play and all the other ones are gonna be a mix of them so what's animation blending if you had two animations let's say one of them is just standing still and the other ones like jogging or something the blending would be the mix between those two all right so how do we represent blending uh, we can represent it many ways but I'll show you the easiest way one more thing is if you go into the header I added a float weight and I added a console message so it can be seen when we press play so one of the first things we're gonna do is we're going to add a number that goes between 0 to 1 because weights are measured in percentages and 1 is 100% so first things first we're going to let's uh, let's just do a small little code for the weight and what we're gonna do is like an if statement where if uh, unigen input and then is key pressed and then we choose a key that we press that it makes it go up so let's just choose uh, unigen input and we choose the key V, I guess. We'll choose V. If we press V, I want the weight to go up by the frames per second. So we'll do something like uh, game and then IFPS. Now this doesn't even make sense because you have to press plus equals to. And then if we do it the other way, so let's just choose the key number C and it minus equals to game plus inverse frame seconds. Now, if you're not used to this, you'll already see the problem, but I'm not gonna press play, I'll save you the time. What this does is it increases the number by frames, but there's no clamping, there's no max, there's no minimum. This thing's gonna go all the way to like minus and plus infinity. So. What do we do? We add something called a clamp. So let's just change these things a little bit. So let's remove those equal signs. And what we do is we say weight equals two. And then we do something called unigen. I can't type. All right, math. And then we choose something called clamping. Now if we go here, and just put these in brackets, you'll notice that it's going to have an error because clamp has two, two to three arguments, I believe. It was three arguments. Okay, so what's clamping? The first thing is the number itself, then it's asking for the minimum amount, and then the maximum amount. So we're going to make our minimum amount zero, and we're going to make our maximum one. So let's just copy this down, paste it here. And then we're gonna change this to minus. And then let's just press this, and that should fix everything. All right, now that we play it, now that we play it, 
if I press V, it's gonna go all the way to 1 and it's gonna max at 1. And if I press 0, I mean C, it's gonna go all the way to 0. So that's set up. Now, how do I set this up? Well, actually, there's only one equation inside the main character itself. So if we just go into main character or the object mesh skinned pointer, we have something called a lerp layer. Now, if you're um, an artist you already know what lerping is if you don't it's the percentage between two points so if you're going between a certain percentages that's lerping meaning from zero to 100 percent that travel distance so inside here we also have arguments we got the destination the layer zero one and the weight now the destination as i said over here i'm going to make this procedural meaning it's going to be ch taking all the destination uh, or all the changes so we're just going to make that zero and then let's um let's say we were walking so if we press w um it's going to ask for the from to the two and then the weight so this is the original layer and then it wants it to switch to this layer so we're going to choose let's say one from idle animation to walk animation which is two and then it's going to ask for weight in our case we're just going to choose our regular weight so now as we change it we're going to see the differences so if i press play as you can see weight is zero and the moment it goes to let's say a little bit a little bit a little bit it gets closer to the jogging animation that we had so as we get to one it's the original jogging animation but as we get to zero it's the original idle animation that we have because it's the difference between the first and the second animation so if you had gamepad controls you can easily use the amount of pressure to detect this thing so anyways we got blending now perfectly understandable and i just wanted to make this quick one so everyone understands the next one we're going to act is actually using um, ways to actually mix between different animations probably make a state machine or something but that's the main way of switching between animations using the inside inbuilt functions all right i hope i didn't take too long next episode's gonna be as soon as i figure out the time all right until then see you guys